Welcome back. We're joined by the Columbus Grove girls basketball coach Brian Schrader. Also three of the captains are with us tonight. Another perfect start for your team by some wide margins. How would you assess kind of the first month of the season? Uh, yeah, we're, we're right where we want to be, I guess. Uh, we've had some um, we've had some easy games. Maybe the last couple uh, league opponents have been a little bit tougher. Crestview yeah. at their place. We were down seven in the second quarter. Uh, battled back and won that game. And Kaleida, which is always a tough place to play, came out on top against them as well. So, As you look at, at your two leagues, how do you do that as a coach? I mean, Thursday nights is, is kind of the NWC night, then Saturdays or maybe earlier in the week to your PCL. But is it hard to focus when you have these two leagues you're, you're competing against, two very good leagues? Yeah, you know, it's challenging, <clears throat> um, especially with PCL not having a league night. We have a PCL uh, game on Monday, could be Tuesday, could be Saturday. <laughs> so it's really hard to get in a routine with – with, with the girls and lifting on certain days and whatnot. But, so it, it is challenging at times, but it's also rewarding at the end of the year. You, you know, you're twice as likely to finish high in the league and um, you know, you have, your players can be recognized in both leagues on all league teams. So it has its benefits as well. No question about it. Three senior captains with us tonight. What have they meant to, to the program last year and then into this year as well? In, uh, this year, uh, you know, I tell the seniors every year going into the season, we set goals. Um, and I tell them, it's your team. We're, we're going to go as far as you take us. Um, you know, I, can, I, I can't be the only one sending a message to the underclassmen. And, and they've really worked really hard this year. Um, every morning they're in the gym shooting. Uh, they do everything I ask them to. Uh, film study, lifting weights, extra conditioning. So I just can't say enough about our senior leadership this year. And what I love about your, your style of coaching is Fridays, you kind of have a senior meeting in your classroom where you, where you go over some leadership stuff. Yeah, um, we did today. So typically when we have school before school on Friday mornings, um, we come in my room and right now we're reading a book, The Energy Bus by John Gordon. Sure, and, yeah. and uh, um, you know, they, they've, they really seem to be enjoying it. And it's, it's we started it last year um, and the seniors, um, I think it really made a difference with them. They enjoyed doing it. Um, it really helped team chemistry and, and it's just kind of followed into this year. Um, today we, we met for lunch after practice, and it's, this seemed to make a, a definite difference to us. How, did, how much <clears throat> did last year, winning the NWC for the first time in school history, Coach Hurston, of course, set up such a great program at Columbus Grove. Mm -hmm. I had to look back and say, really, they'd never won right. the NWC with all those great teams that Columbus Grove had for so many years. But how did that kind of help set the program in the right direction going into this year? You know, it was, it's last year is my third year and right. you always question things and you go up against really, <laughs> really great coaches, you know, Dave Clayman and, and Greg Rickard and, and, you know, the names go on, but um, you're always questioning things and, and are we doing things the right way? And, and last year, I guess, was, was just uh, satisfying to see for the girls, but also um, that our program is going in the right direction. And um, it was definitely a confidence builder for all of us. And it's really uh, helped us going into this year. So, our, you know, when I, I took over, I don't know if we really expected to win every game coming in. I think that expectation is definitely there this year. Um, we know that we're not going to win every single game you go on. But um, it's definitely an advantage to expect to win and, and to be, have been there before. Two of your opponents coming <clears throat> up here in the next month or so faced off on WSN uh, yesterday. It aired yeah. today. Ottawa Glendor, Fottoville was a very tight matchup. You have the Titans next. Mm -hmm. Going to be exciting to face those two teams. Yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a great environment. Um, we look forward to having a lot of, lot of people in the gym um, supporting them and supporting us. And we play them next Thursday, and it, it should be a good showing. It's a non-league game, mm -hmm. um, so it's just a fun game to kind of see where we're at and how we how we stand against a team that, that was state runners up last year. Taking a look at your scrimmage schedule, Minster, Lima Senior, some schools with some, some athletes and some tradition. How much did that help as well? Uh, it helped a lot. You know, we, we want to, scrimmages don't really matter a whole lot in terms of wins and losses. Right. So you, again, you want to see wh where you stand. Um, uh, you learn a lot when you lose and you learn a lot when, when another team comes in and can kind of show your weaknesses. And, and Minster definitely did that. <laughs> um, Lima Senior definitely did that. So we, we learned early on what we need to work on and what we need to improve at. All right, Brian Schrader, mm -hmm. thanks for your time. Now we'll head on over and visit with those three senior captains. And also, I, I can tell you now, you are the fans of the week. So we're, we're interview <laughs> voting furiously up until 5 o'clock because somebody was in Columbus Grove. Any of you? Yeah, I was. Okay, yeah. okay. You guys want to run to that? I was too. Okay, thank um, you. Yeah. We'll unveil that officially here in a moment, but we'll, we'll let you know that. Uh, what what do those, those morning sessions mean, meant to you Friday mornings? It's another book to read, which I'm sure, you know, you're a student, you have lots of books and, and studies, but what has those meant to you? They help a lot, I think. Like, we just get a, 
um, go out and like tell the other girls like about it and help them and it helps like outside of basketball too just with life and stuff. How much do you enjoy playing basketball Jay? I enjoy it a lot it's a lot of fun this year especially because we have a lot of new girls back and everything it's just been a fun environment. What's one memory from last year that, that sticks out to you? A good run you guys had? Uh, one fun memory would be beating Ottaville. I mean, we prepared a lot for that game and just going out there and playing it was a lot of fun. Macy McClure, defensive all over the place. Seems like you're all over the court, you know, yeah. ball handler as well. What do you see as your, your favorite part of your role on this team? Um, I like bringing the energy, I think, and getting after it on defense. So that's my favorite part. Okay, well, that's what I would guess. So very good. Um, <laughs> Highlight this year so far for your team, would you say? 6-0 and to start, is, is there something that sticks out? Um, I think, like, all, there's different girls coming from all over the place, like JV, having a year off, starting, and I think coming together as a team and working together and playing is good. Has that been hard to, to fit in the different pieces and personalities? A little bit, but I think we're working together now and getting into more team bonding and stuff, so it's working out fine. Grace, any uh, team bonding stories you'd like to share? <laughs> Snowball fights, voting for fans of the week, stuff like that. Um, oh, geez, there's, we have a lot. And <laughs> I, don't, I don't, there's not one that really sticks out that okay. to share. Coach Schrader uh, took over the program a couple years ago. You ladies obviously have been a part of that whole thing. What has his style and his presence meant to the program? Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing over right over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he just like from the beginning he set like a big like sh role model for us and like all his dedication and that he has showed it really sh like rubbed off on us and he like has all the girls dedicated going to morning shootings and like they give 110 percent every time so what are those morning shootings like uh there's like we set up the guns and like there's even some uh junior high girls that come too because oh, that like shows that they are dedicated too from watching us and we just shoot every morning and hopefully get better. He puts kind of an onus on the seniors to, to build into those younger players. What was, has that been like for you talking to those freshmen and even those junior high girls? It's really cool this year because like we have a really good relationship with all the underclassmen and they you can tell they really look up to us and so it's fun to watch all that happen. Do you each have like a little sister you're assigned to or you don't do that? No, we, no. we don't. It's okay. just, we all just come together. Very good. Well, good luck the rest of the way. Big game against Otto Glandorf, so enjoy that one, and then the rest of the way in the PCL and NWC. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Columbus Grove ladies out to a perfect start, trying to defend that Northwest Conference championship as well. TJ's Pizza Break.